Sports, it's in the game. Today, from Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York, it's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Buffalo Bills taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Well, there is a brand new stadium starting to take shape just across the way. But for now, the action is here at Highmark Stadium in Buffalo, New York. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes, and make no mistake about it, he was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit. They'll start this drive out on the ground, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Now look at the numbers for Thomas from a week ago. 17 carries, 74 yards. To the air, Allen. Open man is Kendrick Bourne. Ten. Now Allen. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Thomas the intended target, but to throw, it's Allen. Down he goes, brought down a Raider sack. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Waiting from the gun, Allen, and Thomas has it. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It's a gain of nine, but it's also going to mean a punt here on their opening drive. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And they will take over first and ten. So now it's the Raiders' turn to go on offense for the first time. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone and unable to connect the eight. They'll set up a throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25 yard line. He's able to work free for about six down to the 18. Here now, second and four. Again, Peterson. Seven yards there and a first down. It 
They'll try the middle with Peterson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the four, it's second and a couple. They run over center with Peterson. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great play there. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Raiders have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Extra point attempt to follow here. And that makes it 7-zip Vegas. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. last series forcing a punt see if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive first and ten and he's going to be brought down on what will be the final second down and less than a yard on the ground it's Thomas and he's going to have a Bills first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40 they went counter there offensively, and a couple of the defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were, and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. Here's Allen. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it. Looming as they come up third and ten. Allen now looks to throw. Drops it underneath to Thomas. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the full up and tried to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Forced out to his left. Sheds off the tackle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. Back to throw here. Out to his left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. They'll look to throw here. And it's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Bills are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Well, and I saw the pressure coming out, and that just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw? And when you can't do that... From the 36 now, first and 10. Now Allen. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 20. He's used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their body. On third and nine. Throwing now is Allen. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. This from 32 yards away. The kick by Bass is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7 to 3. The big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. He's going to go up top again. 
Pass over the middle, tipped, but he still brings it in. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Raiders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Extra point up and through, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now here's a first and 10. And off comes to Peterson. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Second and five. They give it to Peterson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Peterson. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Two of their three red zone trips so far they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So how about this start to a year? Fantasy owners take note. Two rushing touchdowns in the opener. Two more here in week two. So a nice pickup by two entities. One, this team for making sure they acquired this guy. And two, anyone who plays fantasy who has him on their team. Josh McDaniels, he's got faith in his offense, and he's going to have him go for two. They're going to try and run. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches, and the two-point attempt is turned aside. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Throwing to start the drive. Allen caught out right by Renfro. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Operating from the gun. Allen, open man is born. That one, a first down pickup of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now here's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. This is Thomas, and this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Second and nine from the 44.
Quick throw caught out wide by Renfro. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Allen over the middle complete. It's Thomas. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They'll set up to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one he's fortunate just fell incomplete. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And it's a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, falls incomplete. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. So they were really trying to put the nail in the coffin there already with this lead here in the fourth, but they didn't get it. Guaranteed, it's not going to be a fun handshake in the postgame, right? <laughs> you just know that there's going to be some bad blood there. And I know if we go to the postgame press conferences, the, the winning coach, you know what he's going to say, why he did it? We need the points, okay? Because you never know at the end of the year if points are going to come into the tiebreaker if we're trying to get into the playoffs. That's always the standard justification. Throwing on first down is Allen. He gets it to Thomas. And out of bounds right around the 20. They'll give him four yards there at its second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Finding Bourne here over the middle. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. 
But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think this offense, specifically this running game, they're going to have to find a way to turn the page because they haven't found a way to run it effectively thus far, and it's cost them. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Looking to throw, Allen. Allen hit, he lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. And quickly they get to the line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of 40. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. He'll look to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And that's another throw that could have been intercepted. Part of this, you credit the defense. They've been really stingy. But he's also made some really questionable throws. And that's another one right there. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Well, Charles, I guess the only thing I can think there is they've got a three-score lead, and they're, they're saying, well, we're not going to lose this, so let's have some fun. I don't know why you go for it. I think that's as good an explanation as any, and we all know that certain coaches are more aggressive than others. That call to me, the fantasy people loved it, right? <laughs> yeah. Anybody's going to touch the ball, gain yards, maybe put more points on the board. They're happy that they kept it and did that. So very interesting deal there, but I'm with you on that one. Maybe he just says, what the heck? We can't lose. Let's go ahead and keep trying to win or add to our lead. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, this to the tight end, Kincaid. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Now Thomas. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt.
It's up. It's good. That'll make the score line 20-10. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. And plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. First down, they'll go to the ground attack. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They're going to hurry back to the line now. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 98 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he's going to have a Raider first down. And that should be the one that finishes the script here. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Raiders are on their way to a 2-0 start. So another touchdown for him on the year now, Charles. He had two in the opener last week and hits pay dirt for a third time here. And with good health, he's got a really good chance to be up there among the leaders in touchdown scored when this season comes to an end. Quick question, partner. Is it bad luck to toast him with a sports drink? Not at all, partner. I think that's a fantastic idea. Cheers. A try here for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. 
So that drive in total eight plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. That's complete to his tight end, Fryermuth. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Over the middle, open is Thomas. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. The work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and 10 right now. Looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. To the left side and intercepted. So many times we end the game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Just all around a solid performance, and now they've got the three-score lead here, Charles, so the final seconds of the fourth quarter. Yeah, and this one, they've been in control, haven't they? They've earned this victory. No question who the better team was out there in this game. And frankly, the score could have been a lot worse than it was. Give them a lot of credit for how they played in this one. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. They're still throwing the football here. And obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving. Keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Oftentimes, when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Flag accepted. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. 
And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they decline the hold, and that's going to lead to a fourth down. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And this, not always an easy proposition, Charles. You had a West Coast team that traveled east, but they got the job done. And there's so much that goes into it because your body time and your body clock different from what you're used to west because if you go east, you're going to lose up to three hours, right? So is your body going to be awake when it's time to play? A lot of teams actually rehearse it. They practice it. Maybe the week of the game, they move everything up to that time frame so guys get used to doing it that way. I remember when I played at Tennessee, when we had to go from east to west, our trainer Tim Karen said, leave your watches on East Coast time. Every piece of information we got was East Coast standard time. Try to psychologically tell us what to do, as well as prepare our bodies the same way. in the game.